Good morning. <laughs> it's a Saturday and I'm tired. It's actually 11 o'clock. I'm just avoiding my responsibilities for the time being. I just had a module all week, so I've been getting up at seven every day. I couldn't do it again. Oh God, it burns. <laughs> I'm finally dressed, I'm finally up. I've actually been tidying my room and finishing some stuff from a previous video this morning. I say this morning, for the past hour. It's probably the afternoon now. I haven't checked my phone in a while. Before we move on, I just wanna bring your attention to the very kind sponsor of this video and that is Amber Student. Amber Student's basically an online platform where you can get help with searching for and booking accommodation near whichever university you're at. Currently, the company's operational in over 100 cities worldwide, including in Denmark, in Ireland, in the UK, and in the US. There's over 20,000 listings on their platform, which you can search through. You could put it from price low to high if you're on a budget, for example. And then not only can you book that accommodation, but Amber Student helps you through the whole process, for example, lease agreements and reading contracts with you. So if you're interested in using their service, you can use my affiliate link in the description and just check them out. Moving on with the vlog. I do have quite a bit to do today. I mean, I don't have to, but I'd quite like the whole of Sunday off because I need to like, clean and i didn't do any work in the evenings last week because the days were so intense we've just finished mass fatality incidents clues in the name it was dense you know we would spend all day learning about various terrorist attacks how to identify victims who don't look like the, themselves anymore basically we had to learn about trauma response and family liaison. We also got to do a scene search of an actual carriage from an actual train crash. I'm not gonna say which one, just in case that like personally affects anyone watching, but we did get to go on, look at some of the original evidence that was in there and other stuff that had been planted for us to write down. And we got to look at some air crashes as well and you know, talk about what might have prevented loss um, what safety features are in place, how we would respond to this as forensic archaeologists and anthropologists. And that was so cool, I really enjoyed it, but emotionally quite draining. Uh, physically I'm fine, emotionally I'm bruised. They do have an assignment to do based on that module, and I also have another assignment for a future module which is courtroom skills. I have to write an expert witness report that I can present in court. So again, I'm doing that, and I need to go into uni because I left my oat milk in the fridge, and I'd quite like it back. I feel like you're probably watching the screen now thinking, Rosie, what the hell have you got in your ears? Fair enough, I'm wearing taco earrings. And I'm gonna link the Etsy shop that I bought them from in the description. I'm gonna tidy my room now, and I'm not gonna show you the before because it's embarrassing. <laughs> so I've decided to come out for a walk. I did finish tidying my room. I then had lunch and watched Netflix for a bit, but now it's time to work. So I'm gonna go for a little mini walk, end up at the common room, see if I can get in. If I can't, then I'll keep walking. If I can, then I'll go in and work. My mask's in a dip. Uh, that was eventful. It's so windy. I guess that's what I get for putting it on one ear. There's genuinely not a single person on campus. I mean, it is a weekend. But at Oxford, people would be everywhere, every day of the week, seven days a week. Moment of truth, let's see if the card works on the common room, otherwise we're turning round. <laughs> yes! It worked, and there's no one here. This is the common room. 
not a single person in here, which is why I've got my mask off. Obviously, if someone walks in, I will put it back on, but there's no one here. I'm gonna wipe down the table with the spray stuff. This is what I'm getting on with now. I've got my anthropology revision to do and my dissertation to do. And then when I get home, I'm gonna do some DVI stuff, so like disaster victim identification and mass fatality incidents work. Very varied, but sort of like you're getting a full scope of what this course is, I guess. This is exciting. So this is the CIFA archaeology magazine. If I go to the members page and students, ta-da! If anyone's interested, my dissertation involves this little guy at the top. I am doing paleopathology, which basically looks at disease in the archaeological record, and I'm doing smallpox in particular. I'm still alone. No one has walked through here. No one's been in. There's probably people in the offices, but I haven't seen anyone. The sky looks, looks like it's gonna be grey outside. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I didn't realise it was cold enough but um, just started snowing, sleeting. Actually, about half seven now I had to charge my camera it fully died and I've eaten tea I've had some pudding I have watched the final episode of behind her eyes if you haven't seen behind her eyes go and watch it right now it's amazing I'm gonna do some work now on my mass fatalities assignment because I've had enough of my dissertation I haven't done it since I was in uni but I was there for three hours and now I'm bored of that so I'm doing the mass fatalities stuff. I basically got to answer, I think eight questions, which sort of form an essay about mass fatalities. So I've got to write about classifications, risk management, death prevention, family liaison, victim identification, loads of different things. It's a bit dark and gross and, and not particularly pleasant, but I'd rather do a little bit each day and not stress in a few weeks. I'm also gonna do a face mask. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Tell me what the hold up is. I'm a little sport. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm not used to laying low about my feelings. Tell the world or write a book. When I'm finished, I should thank your mama. Yeah. Look at what she made. I'm gonna get on with my mass fatalities assignment now, but I have done the washing up and I've obviously put this on my face. Now I'm gonna read a delightful paper called Disaster Victim Identification, Operations with Fragmented, Burnt or Commingled Remains. I can't take myself seriously with a green face. Quiet please, I'm talking. I need to take this off my face and I need to shower before I go on Zoom to my friends. Let's be careful, couldn't pay. You told me to eat and wrap me, leave me no restraint. And I should thank your mama. Oh, look what she made. Lord, I'm sweating you so badly. I'm in summer with no rain. Yeah. I am tired. <laughs> the Zoom's over, it's midnight. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I will see you in the morning because I'm going to turn this into a weekend vlog. I think that'll be more entertaining than a single day. I mean, if you're bored, feel free to just leave now. 
the next day. Good morning, it's Sunday. This morning has been so slow. It's Sunday. What Sunday isn't slow? I don't know what time it is, but I definitely turned my alarm off three times. It's later than I would have liked it to be. You know what I didn't do yesterday? The only reason I was going into uni was to get my milk and I forgot to bring it home with me, didn't I? I also need to put a wash on. Maybe I'll go and do that right now. Hello, I am back in uni in the common room. Again, there's absolutely no one here, which is why I'm not wearing a mask. I know I haven't picked up the camera all day. It is half three now. So it's a bit late in the day, but I've just been doing boring tasks like around my room and it was neither enjoyable nor interesting to watch. I also went for a walk and I did intend to take my camera, but I forgot. I'm gonna do my assignment now, finally, because I haven't done any work yet. And then I'm gonna go home before it gets dark because there is absolutely not a chance that I'm walking home in the dark. Absolutely not a chance. Are no you idea. sure? I am gonna make a coffee. I love these sachets. And these hot water taps are so handy. It makes everything easy. I don't have a spoon. I'm gonna. I'm glad there's no one here to witness that because. Ow! Cheers! Yeah, I'm very wrapped up right now. I'm just cold, but I feel like you can't hear me, so I'll take that off just so I can talk to you. Again, there's not a single person here. It's very quiet and quite eerie, but it's like half five, 20 past five-ish. Not really dark yet, but I need to be home before it goes dark. I got a fair bit done. I've like read three quarters of an article and written in my logbook for my dissertation to explain what I did yesterday and my thoughts at this moment and moving forward with my research. When I get home, I'm gonna cook and then do absolutely nothing. I think I'll just watch TV and chill and get in bed and turn on my nice fairy lights and like turn it into a cinema in my bedroom. So I'm gonna end the video here just so I can properly relax and I'm not having to worry about filming stuff and looking remotely presentable because I just want to crash to be honest. It's Sunday evening. I want to chill. We all deserve to chill. <laughs> thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. And thank you again to the sponsor and the student. I honestly appreciate it so much. If you could share this video, again, I would really appreciate that because you know, who knows what student might want to do forensics somewhere on your timeline and they just don't know I exist and they might be able to ask me some questions that they need answering or they just might want to see if forensics is really for them so hopefully maybe I could help somebody out there <laughs> make sure to subscribe if you don't already and I will see you in my next video bye guys